This is Millie Weaver, and we are here in Los Angeles, Van Nuys, California, at a homeless camp here. Now, the Democrats have long since neglected this area where a public safety hazard is growing out of control. It is spiraling out of control. You have tons and tons of trash, urine, feces, rats running amok, and the city has done nothing except come out and post some pieces of paper, eviction notices, to some of the people living here in these homeless tents. Now, the police are out here. The LAPD is very happy about what Scott Pressler is doing. They're actually helping. There are some police officers that have even volunteered to help. There's also another problem. If you look closely behind these piles of trash, you will see that there are gang markings. This is territory for the MS-13 gangs and the Barrio Van Nuys gang here in California. These are gangs that have come across the border illegally and their numbers have been growing because of our open lackadaisical border policies and the Democrats' failure to uphold the law and protect the borders. And recently I just heard from the police today that there was a murder spree that happened several homeless people were actually killed, murdered, and dismembered by these MS-13 and uh, Barrio Van Nuys gangs. A lot of us get murdered over there. Los Angeles police say they arrested three members of MS-13 in early morning raids this week at 10 locations throughout the San Fernando Valley. They are accused of shooting and killing a homeless man while he slept at a rec center in North Hollywood. Officers say MS-13 members are also believed to be responsible for at least five violent assaults at the rec center just after the shooting. 22 people have been named in the indictment. 16 of them are implicated in what investigators are calling grisly murders. The indictment zeroes in on a San Fernando Valley branch of MS-13. I will say this. There has been an uptick in violence in the area where some of the unsheltered population is. Head and iron hands chopped off. Torso left on fire. There's how many people have been killed out there? Not sure. I've heard five. I'm not sure. Were they homeless people? Yes. The Los Angeles Police Department takes that seriously, and we've been addressing that with uh, our uh, Metropolitan Mounted Unit coming out here, and we've had other assets from the department trying to get a, a handle on that. So the gangs are actually killing the homeless people out here. I, I was shocked to find that out. I, I asked why on earth would these gang members be killing homeless people? That doesn't make any sense. Well, apparently these gangs like to claim territory and these taggings on the wall are to let the homeless people know that this is their territory and they're not allowed to be homeless and camp here in these camps unless they pay the gangs money. So when the gang members come around and ask for that money for their protection or safety, if you, if you can't pay up, if you don't pay up, uh, they will chop you up into pieces and burn your body. That has happened to several homeless residents out here, according to police and according to the homeless people that I've spoken to in the camps here. Now, what are you guys doing to combat the gangs out here? You know, the MS-13 and the Barrio Van Nuys gangs that seem to be, I mean, we can see the graffiti on the walls, but mm -hmm. they seem to be hassling the homeless population and causing crime. We just had one of the largest operations on the West Coast conclude not too long ago. Uh, it's available, the information's available online, but we had a uh, very large operation uh, countering MS-13 influence in the San Fernando Valley that resulted in a pretty good number of arrests. How many MS-13 members would you estimate that are still out there on the streets in this area? Uh, in this, in the San Fernando Valley, there are probably a couple hundred. So uh, we continue to to address that. If someone is a a gang member involved in violent criminal activity, they're going to be arrested. They're going to be prosecuted. Now, what happens on the back end of that prosecution? Uh, that is not within the purview of the Los Angeles Police Department. Okay. When it comes to rebuilding your energy, convenience is key. While coffee, candy, and other sugary products can give you a short boost, the crash can leave you more tired than ever. Turbo Force from InfoWars Life is a powerful mix-in energy packet that utilizes vitamins, amino acids, and extracts used for hundreds of years to provide you focus, clarity, and a boost of energy on the go. Simply take a packet, mix it into the indicated amount of water, and enjoy. With 14 servings per box for a two-week or more supply, 
This is the formula to stock up on whenever you need a boost. Perfect for work, in the car, or at home. Turbo Force is the ultimate answer to a sluggish day. Don't let your day slow you down. Perk up with Turbo Force at InfoWarsStore.com.